Hello and welcome. I'm Andy Beach, and today we've got an exciting new upgrade. We're doing an upgrade video. Well, we're doing a slight review on the GTX 1060 that I've just got from Amazon. Uh, so that's going to be going inside my gaming rig. Hopefully, because it's lots of new, cool, exciting stuff. So, hopefully, the audio is going to be fine. Right then, so here is the 1060. Obviously, it's completely upside down, so I do apologize for that. Um, right then, so uh, this is actually the 1060 3 gig version, so it's not the 6 gig version. Uh, the reason I went for the, six, uh, the the three gig version instead of the six gig version was purely cost. Uh, basically, this cost me 188 pounds uh, in the UK on Amazon, uh, whereas the, the six gigs uh, is about 260 pounds, so a lot more expensive. And getting looking on a lot of reviews, a lot of other things, there's not actually much difference between them. Other than the VRAM and a couple of CUDA cores, apparently. Damn. Anyway, let's get on to it. So, uh, the unboxing. Dun, dun, dun. So, it comes in this nice box. Uh, and then, straight away, you're greeted with the graphics card. Pull this out then. So, this is the Windforce Edition. Uh, so, it's not actually the Founders Edition or anything like that so it's the wind force edition overclocked already at the factory and then you can download some neat software from the bloody thing open some neat software that allows you to overclock and put it in game mode this is how they want to join so here is the graphics card so it's got two fans they've actually active fans so they both they spin in completely two different directions uh, allowing for the airflow to basically go this way, I think. Um, yeah, comes with a six pin on the top to allow for overclocking, obviously for power. Uh, the connectors, DVI, 2 DVI digital, um, HDMI, I think, and then display port. The HDMI is actually 2.0, which is a pretty cool, neat feature. Uh, it's got a really nice heat shroud on the back so it's nice and black um, it's actually really well built let's just put aside a second see what else we got and you can see Zelda you can enjoy it so in the box as well um, there's some foam uh, you get the quick guide uh, so just basically tells you how to do it uh, we get a disc uh, real graphics true gaming um, and you get a cat? No, you don't get a cat. You don't make it. Uh, you don't get a cat there. But that's pretty much it in the box. Um, so, so if we talk a bit more about it, let's see what's on the back of the car. So on the back of the box, so long say it's got ten, ten gig, got three gig um, of RAM in it, VRAM. Um, and yeah, it's got a 90 millimeter unique blade, stylish back blade, heat pipe direct touch. Yeah, that's what I, was, I forgot to say as well. It's got like these heat pipes, and you can just see them. Uh, the heat pipes help direct the air, uh, the heat away. And that's it really, to be honest with it. Um, so I've already done some benchmarks on the 760 that's in there at the minute. Uh, so I'm gonna install this now. Actually, I won't do it on the camera this time because it takes too long. Um, and then we'll do some benchmarks and see how this bad boy runs. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in a moment. <laughs> 